Digital Signature Definition Any mechanism that guarantees that a certain content has not been modified. There are hundreds of mechanisms token, pin, scan signature, encrypting, or a portal includes the following mechanisms. PDF signature consists of converting the document to PDF and additionally including a stamp if desired. The document will not allow modifications. Guaranteed signature, signature created by or a portal only for Word documents that guarantees that the signature belongs to the assigned or a portal user and doesn't allow the document to be modified. Certified signature. The document will be signed with a digital certificate, PIN, token, code, which will be converted to PDF and will not allow modification. Digital certificates are issued by official certifying entities, which legally guaranteed that the document has not been modified since it was first signed, given that more signatures can be accepted after this, with or without a stamp, and that the signature is authentic. Digital signature term, a term that allows users to include a guaranteed signature in forms, group of field registers, base documents, etc. What can be signed? We can store documents with any type of digital signature in Aura Portal, but besides this, Aura Portal includes all the necessary features to digitally sign the following elements. Documents and any type of file integrated in the processes and family elements. Documents in libraries, automatic documents, forms in process tasks and messages, start and intermediate, group of fields lines, registers, and notifications. Configurations. Two terms are involved in the digital signature. Library, used to store files. It is created and configured in the dictionary of terms but it can be customized in the form what is being used. And digital signature, used to guarantee digital signature in forms, group of fields, registers, Word documents, and automatic documents. It is created in the dictionary of terms, but is, the configuration is defined in the form what is being used. Configuration, the configuration of both terms is different from the configuration option in the form where they are placed. In the case of the digital signature term, we just need to include a digital signature type of term in the form and we can configure the following options, okay? We can choose size, if we want a signature footer, etc. We can also choose the font. On the other hand, the library type of term allows us a very detailed configuration of the digital signature. I can select here activate and customize. Activate if I want if I wanted to admit a signature and customize configuration will open this window with more options. We are going to see all the different possible options to configure a signature. If we click on digital signature the first thing to do is to activate it. Digital signature, yes. Enables users to sign documents in the library. If this wasn't activated, we wouldn't be able to sign any of the documents in the library. Stamp, yes. A stamp can be created for the documents in PDF format that are signed with or without a certificate. Stamp position in the certified signature only the first position is available. Stamp pages, if we want to, the stamp to appear in a specific page, distance from corner, and design. Next, we will see how to design the stamp. When we go to design the stamp, we can include the image we want the stamp to have. Here, we can decide if we want to add the performer, the date in which it is sign and any other text. And from the stamp option, we can add a background color or a border. The result of the stamp we just configured here would be this one. 
We have already mentioned the activate and the stamp options. Now we can see the different options for the digital signature. Certified guaranteed. Here we can select the type of signature from the ones available. Let's see all the different possibilities for a digital signature. We can see two different sections here, MS Word and other formats. We can see that we have an extra option in the MS Word. The Performer PC that allows the certified and guaranteed signatures. Let's see the first option without certificates. Requirements. Aura Portal includes all the necessary features. Nothing needs to be stored. When seeing in a document stored in a library, it will be converted to PDF. If it has a stamp, it will appear inside a PDF document. If the format can be converted to PDF, a PDF file will be created with a link to the document. The file will be opened when clicking on the link. When the document is signed and it has a stamp, we will see this icon. And if it's signed but it has no stamp, we will see this one. The result of the stamp will be this one. So we can see here the signed document with the stamp. It says when signing the document, the stamp designed in the library settings will appear in the document. Next type of signature is this one, the one that uses the server. Requirements, one or several certificates must be installed in the server. When signing a document is stored in the library, it will be converted to PDF. The certificates installed in Aura Portal server will appear on the list. We must indicate which certificate will be used when signing the document. The performer's name and any other text may appear. Make sure that the date and time in the signature is certified by an external entity. And again we have here the icon. Certificate in the performer PC. This time the certificate is not in the server but in the PC of the executor. So when signing a document, so in the library the document opens and then a certificate is selected among the available ones. The document will be converted to PDF. From this option, we access the advanced settings where we can indicate if the certificate has been revoked, accept or not Spire certificates, and what date time will appear in the signature. And the result will be this icon. The last option is only available in MS Word, as we can see here. This is the default option in the MS Word when we don't select one. The default option for the other formats is this one. Requirements. Install the certificate in the performer's PC. On signing a Word document stored in a library with certified signature, it is blocked and no modifications can be made. No conversion to PDF and no stamp allowed. And this will be the icon. Now we are going to see how to configure the guaranteed signature. All the users who need to sign must have configured their PIN. The Aura Portal Utilities and MS Word must be installed in the performer's PC. Let's have a look now at the configuration of the guaranteed signature in the user's record. Configuration of the guaranteed signature for employee users. Access to employee portal, access to employee's private data in the record and add the image and the pin. 
configuration of the guarantee signature for external users, access to the external portal, access the role data in the account record, and add the image and the pin from the grid or role record. Note, if the pin is left blank, no pin will be requested when signing. Let's go now to the application to see some examples. And digital signature. In this division, we can see five different library type terms. I have chosen different configuration in each of them. So we can see all the different results. First, we have files. So if we go to the settings, and we check the configuration. We can see here that we didn't select activate or customize setting. So let's go back to my tasks. And if I click here, I can see that I have already added some documents. If I click in signature, I can see that nothing happens. And this is because we didn't select the option activate, as we just saw in configuration. So it won't be possible to sign all the documents that are included in this library. Let's see now the second option, reports. If we return to settings and we go to the reports configuration, we can see that this time we have selected activate and customize setting. If we go to customize setting, we can see we have four options here and that we have selected the four of them. If we have a look at the stamp configuration, we can see the options we have chosen for the stamp, okay, with the position and also the design. If we go here, we can see that we also selected these two options. So save and exit and save and exit. If we go to the signature option, we can see that the option we selected is without certificate, the one that allows us to convert it to PDF with a stamp, as we also selected the option stamp. So let's go back to my tasks. Okay, to the reports. And if we go here, we can see that I previously added some documents as well. We have a PDF document, we have a docx, and we also have a BPMN1 that is a diagram. So let's see what happens when I click on signature. It will convert the document to PDF and will add the signature and also the stamp. So if I go to the PDF one and I click on signature, we have a message. This action will add a digital signature to this document in order to display the document before signing it. Click cancel and open the document by clicking on its name. Okay, accept. Okay, and we can see here that it has been signed already. If I do the same with the doc X, Again, it will be signed. And if I do the same in the BPMN, it will be the same. If I go into the document now, if I go into the document, I can see that it has been signed and it has, the stamp has been added. If I go to the other one, the PDF, it will be the same. Okay, the stamp is there. Obviously the ones that weren't in PDF format, now they are in PDF format, okay? And this one is a bit different because this one is a diagram. So let's see how it solves the problem. I, sorry. So if I go here, I can see that he has created a document with a link, okay? And this link will take me to the actual document that was a diagram, okay? So if I click here, it will download the document and then I could see it. 
Let's go now to see the configuration of the memorandum field. So we go to settings, memorandums, and configuration options. And here again, we can see the digital signature. We have selected activate a customized settings. And let's have a look of to the digital signature we chose. And this time is a server. Okay, we chose the option server. When we configure it with a certificate in the server, we can see a list of the server certificates available. Okay, and we just have to choose the, the one we want to use. In this case, we chose this one. So let's go back to execution now to see how it works. In here, I have also added some documents. So let's try to see what happens when we try to sign it. Again, we have the message, accept, and then we have the icon here, letting us know that it has been signed with the certificate of the server. Let's try to sign this one as well. And the third document. Again, they were all different formats, but now they are all in a PDF format. 